All right, welcome back to the Super Coach Nuff channel. In this video, we're looking at the round 19 review. And an excellent week for myself. So much so, it's probably, well, I think it is actually the best uh, week I've ever had in terms of round rank. So, in terms of score, you know, 1,211 doesn't seem that impressive, but uh, there was only 13 scoring players for... <laughs> Um, the best 13 for round 19. Uh, I did have a quick look at last night, thinking, oh, you know, I've got to be up there somewhere. And I did get a 40th uh, about five years ago in the round rank, so that has just topped it. Um, but yeah, you can see it's skyrocketed our season rank all the way up into the top 3,000. So I know across most of my leagues, I was yeah, about 200 points ahead. Um, of those players that were higher ranked. Um, so, yeah, absolutely buzzing after that. Uh, but if we have a look at the team to see how the, the magic happened. <laughs> um, yeah, so obviously I haven't had the, uh, the the strongest sort of updates on the team given on the uh, European adventure, which was amazing. Um, it was surprisingly easy to, to get internet access. I guess a lot's changed in the 15 years since I was last there <laughs> um but in saying that you know hotel rooms and that aren't really designed for uploading videos um plus i was you know too busy actually having fun so <laughs> um but yeah you can see red money with 85 you know um i guess the fact i have a few bulldogs players in the side and they all went really well um helped with the score but um yeah it's really great to see him get back in form. He, he got over for a try as well, which definitely helped boost that score. Tohu Harris with a 94. Um, so I haven't actually looked at his stats yet, so I'll have a quick look. Uh, did he get a try? Maybe. A little bit slow on this end. Nope. Need the fantasy stats. Oh, so try assist. That probably would have yeah, helped boost above his usual sort of 60, 70 uh, average, which is fantastic. Harry Edwards was a late out, um, but didn't affect us. We still ended up with, I think, 15 playing, which was a really great result. Uh, Jermaine Hopgood, so 64. We, he was the trade-in this week. Um, wasn't sure when he was named for origin, but uh, because he's 18th, 19th man, I think 19th man he'll be. Um, so they released him, let him play, which was, uh, which was nice. Um, but yeah, 64, that's perfectly fine. Uh, Britton Nicola with an 88, you know, that that's a really nice uh, score from him. And Joe Tarpany with a 94, so I'm pretty sure he did get over for a try. So, you know, Tohu and, and Tarpany having them this round was really, really nice. Um, Claude Matangi obviously didn't play because of origin selection. Um, same with Fafita. Uh, Preston with a 49, it was probably one of his quietest games, to be fair. Um, but... You know, I guess the, the Bulldogs were just killing it all over the park. So, um, yeah, the fact that he had a quiet one probably, you know, is fair enough. Not the worst thing either, probably, for him. Um, yeah, <laughs> he's done enough work for us this season. Uh, Nico Hines, so the straight C has come off again with 109. Uh, not quite our best score for the week, I think. Oh, equal highest. There you go. Just having a... Preview of the back line there. Oh, might as well show it. Um, so, yeah, great captaincy call. Sean Johnson with a 75. So, you know, that's nice. Um, although, we are probably going to look to, to bring Cleary back in if he's available. Matt Burton. So, I guess when the news was announced about Toby Sexton um, getting a gig at uh, the Dogs, I thought, well, Burton goes back to six. He's not going to be on the ball as much might affect his super coach scoring. But if the game's anything to go by on the weekend, it's just going to free him up. Um, you know, and I don't know what the, the difference is between Sexton and, and Kyle Flanagan <laughs> to to look at them as a style of player. But in saying that, I've always rated Sexton as a, as a decent player. So I'm happy he's come to the dogs. And, um, you know, I think the, the pod 5.8s might uh, still be a valid option. So... Yeah, great return from Berto on the weekend uh, and just looked really, really good. Uh, CNK with a 61. You know, that's a solid return from him. Osaka with a 56. Um, 
Yeah, I think he was my lowest scoring player. So I should have mentioned there yeah, the players that didn't get up and score was Preston and uh, and Buller. Uh, Kiraz with the 71. So I guess, you know, off the back of the, the, the sort of change in fortunes for the dogs, he was back to his ball running, offloading best. Uh, and did get a try, I'm pretty sure, too. Uh, Munro. So he was the sort of cash out option to, to bring in Hopgood, and he uh, delivered the goods with a 91. Um, Dream Buller with a 40, so uh, maybe he's not the, the season long keeper we had hoped for, but um, you know, that that's fine. Uh, and, and Blake Wilson, so you know, we, we've sort of just held on to him as a cheap option, but three tries, 109, you know, he looked really good running the ball out of defense, all that sort of stuff as well. Made a couple of really nice runs. Uh, it's just a shame he's stuck behind Ado Carr on the wing. Um, but, you know, he'll ultimately end up sitting in our centre wing uh, bench slots. So that's the team uh, and how it's looking. Um, yeah, so in terms of this week, I think the priority is to, to get uh, Nathan Cleary in if he's na up named play. So 8.57, what do we got in the bank? So we do have enough to do a single trade, SJ to Cleary, which is nice, particularly given how low on trades we are. Yeah, it's just a bit slow on loading. Maybe everyone's on there trying to see how good they've gone over the weekend. So, I mean, we could just do the one trade and everything would be okay for this week. Um, yeah, so we could do that. And then, yeah, so just, I guess, if we put the team uh, sort of in the, the order we want. So let's just reset that as well. So get Hano and Payne Haas back in the front row slots where they belong. So probably run the two hookers. Vita, you're in the starting team. Tarpany's on the buy, which sort of, you know, that, that's okay. We can cover these two this week, which has worked out quite uh, nicely. So probably Presto. Cleary and Ponga on the bench, or Ponga will start. And it gets a nice, you'll probably get the VC, let's be honest. Munro, that's fine. So bring Garrick on. Yeah, Marzu against the Tigers, have to have, so maybe something like that. And then, yeah, Buller, obviously, over Wilson. So, you know, if we just quickly shape the team up like that, it's looking good. Oh. Probably Tohu over Preston, I guess. That's probably the, the smarter money there. So, I mean, yeah, you know, we've got a pretty stacked squad. Uh, our one issue is at fullback. Um, yeah, Buller hasn't quite panned out the way we'd hope, and we obviously want two gun fullback. So, our number one target is Latrell. Um, but at 813, that doesn't come too cheap. And uh, yeah, in terms of our second option, oh, it's not loading. But in terms of our second option, uh, I think, you know, we, we probably can't afford Gutho. We can't afford drink water, which we're okay with. Um, let's refresh the page, maybe do the business. So I think the obvious sort of choice to look at is to discount 670. Um, still heavily discounted on his his um, Ross earlier in the year. So 104 break even. So he's not an urgent trade in this week. You know, give him a chance to see how he backs up post Origin. Excuse me. Um. Slow. 
know what's happened that the with the internet. Maybe it's Supercoach that's having a, a meltdown. So if we just turn on the the break even, just to, to sort of get a, a a gaze at where we're at. So I guess looking through, you know, was obviously a, a trade out candidate this week with that break even of um, one twenty eight. So, you know, if we do want to boot him, we might just have to bank the cash and, and uh, you know, do a, a bit of a trade. Um, you know, the other candidate, we've got sort of six decent centre wing options. So I think, you know, for Blake Wilson to slide up here, one of them has to go. Uh, looks like Azarko is in, or CNK is got the biggest break even but that's just because he had those monster weeks um you know i guess i'm what i'm tossing up is between azarko and manu to make way one of them to make way um from the side if we have a look at you know like either of those i'm pretty sure we, we could go straight to Tedesco. i can't remember the number and i'm too scared to retype it <laughs> um Let's see if we can do it with a Sarko. So Wilson will trade up. Well, actually, we should have seen if we could do it with Buller, but we wouldn't. No, not quite white. So it would have to be Manu to go. If we brought Teddy in this week. Mm. Yeah, it's a lot. Because <laughs> I guess the, the other thing as well is if we want to clear, clear some funds to to double trade next week, maybe. But I guess the only real sort of money we have in that sense is in the uh, the forwards. So I guess given, you know, we've got some good coverage. Obviously, these two don't play this week, but maybe we get rid of Preston for the run home. They can enough him out, bank 300k, 350k even. It's a bit sad because he's been such a, a great servant for us, but it's a, it's business, buddy. <laughs> so let's just go front row forward. I didn't actually want the filter. That'll give us the BPPs. So we'll bring in enough. Do we want a second row center? Swing, not really. So it's any of these guys. Philly really Army for feeder. Miles, well, they're the two obvious ones. I don't know who this Miles Martin is. Maybe him. So, so making that move. Makes us 350k. It's Manu's break. Manu's break even's not too bad. 55, yep. So I guess, yeah, the thinking is next week. So we've done those two trades. And so then next week it'll be Buller to the trail, which we should easily be able to do there with the back I didn't want that at all I wasn't trying to pop up the player there we go I think that it's all happening here there we go I think we're sorted so yeah so next week you know we can go Buller um to uh Latrell so with 350 um and just maybe that that sort of 
bit of extra cash we have left over, we could actually go a Sarko to Tedesco, which would probably be the, the ideal. So I might even just swing like that. Bring Manu into the side. Although if I want to play a Zarko this week over Manu, who they got? Dolphins against Penrith, okay, yeah, probably a good call. Uh, <laughs> um, and Manu is playing Melbourne. Uh, not the best game either for him, but that's fine. Who's Kira's got? Broncos at Belmore? I'm, I'm interested. <laughs> uh, Broncos going all right. Maybe, yeah, we'll just run with that. So yeah, so I guess, you know, we'll make those two trades next week and then we've got ourselves a completed team. Probably only got three trades left, uh, which isn't ideal, but we've got coverage, like, you know, we've got these two guys. So we've ended up with a squad of, well, 17 that I've selected, 18, 19, 20, 21. You know, it's a couple, couple of benches here. Enough. Harry Edwards might not get another go, but that's fine. We've got a couple of... 100 grand there we could strip out of him if we need to also um but that's obviously an extra trade <laughs> so yeah i mean that's that's the, the way the team's shaping up i think you know it's looking pretty good um you know happy with the the hookers you know could argue maybe damien cook but obviously having two buys in the remote remaining eight rounds i'm not too upset with money, um, particularly if the side keeps going the way it has. These two best front rowers in the game, as far as I'm concerned, happy to have them. And you got Tohu and, and I guess Tarpany to a degree covering. Fafita, absolute tank. Hopgood's been good all season, probably shouldn't have traded him out to be fair. Nikora, Gun, so you know, Claw Matungi's a solid backup option too. The, the two keepers set and forget halfbacks, the two pod five eights I'm super happy with and uh, you know, happy to ride that decision. You know, Garrick playing fullback now for Manly is 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 nice. CNK has been awesome all year. Same with Mazu. Kiraz, we like his all floating ability. As I said, you know, Manu's the question mark. Um but you know, it could end up being a Sarko just goes back there. Um, we, you know, we use one more trade to, to fix him up if we need to. Um, Buller and, and Ozarko, obviously the fullbacks are what we're going to fix up next week. But, um, yeah, that's the team and that's how it's going. Um, obviously we'll be back with all the regular stuff this week. The Bulldog project will be tomorrow. The a stock market video, um, might try to hold off till Thursday, just given we don't kick off till Friday night plus Origin. So try to get a fuller uh, view of of how everything's stacking up for the back end of the season. Uh, and then Friday we'll have the the round preview video as well. Um, but as always, if you've got any thoughts on on the team or have any questions about your team, feel free to comment. Uh, if you're enjoying the content, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. And other than that, I'll catch you in the next one.